Hello and welcome to Oxpool, the Technic magazine with Wolfgang Rudolf. Hello everyone, today it's all about temperature. We all know what it is, when it's warm we sweat, when it's cold we freeze, we can measure the temperature with some sort of device, earlier it was with mercury or with alcohol thermometers, today it's with digital thermometers, wireless thermometers, we can also measure temperature from a distance without even touching anything. How does this work? Well now temperature is molecular movement, if we have the absolute null it is at minus 273.15 Celsius, the molecules don't move anymore and then we have no temperature and with all the temperature above this then they vibrate the more warmth the more speed or the other way around and that we can measure and these vibrations they are sent out find themselves in the frequencies area far above that to what we normally have wireless LAN is by 2.5 gigahertz you might know 13 centimeters is the wavelength that starts though at 300 gigahertz, far, far over, up to about 400 terahertz. And that is the area that infrared, what we call, finds itself. And in these areas, you can also find the temperatures. We can from minus 50 degrees to about plus 4,000 degrees Celsius temperatures from a distance measure. And I have brought my remote control with me for you, not because you can make it warm or measure temperature with it. I just want to show you that there is something when I push here on the OK button, you don't see anything. But now I show this remote, my camera, and when I push the button, now you can see the camera can see something. That are now frequencies which are for us invisible, but we can measure them, we can prove that they are there and a pyrometer, an infrared thermometer, that is something similar to a camera with these frequencies. Record, measure and then turn into, for us, simple measurements, into the temperature. So now let's have a look at the devices. I have here a little infrared thermometer from PC, the MF1, comes in this little bag and this is what it looks like. Pretty handy, I see at the front two buttons, and here's the opening for the sensor, with this it looks at the temperature, deep inside you can see the sensor, and when I turn it on, it's very warm here in the studio to prove that it works, I have here a cup of coffee, now we go over it, and when I push the button we can see 54.4 degrees Celsius. I have to wait a moment, but then I'll drink it. That's a device in the 25 euro class, and that is something you need at home and everywhere on all sorts of places. Don't be afraid, in this bag is not a revolver, but here's a measuring device in it, an infrared thermometer, which can also determine the dew point. The dew point is the temperature at the moment air humidity where on surfaces the condensation and the evaporation cancel each other out. This point is very important, for example, when mold builds. To establish if you have in your cellar or anywhere the danger of having mold, or even if mold is building, this is the ideal device for when you can measure the temperature, the air humidity and the building of mold. When I turn it on, it measures the environment temperature and it also measures the temperature in the measuring area. So it shows me, and here at the top is the dew point, they have to be careful, it has many setting possibilities, like this green lighting diode, it would turn yellow when I come near the mold building, from my environmental features, from the humidity and the environmental temperature, and the dew point, which is a result of, it would light up yellow, and also bleep when the mold is already being built. Und sie würde rot leuchten und das Teil würde auch bieten, 
wenn es schon zu Schimmelbildung gekommen ist. Ich I can tag it very good with it. When I look at it here on the table, there are two points. They tell me in which area it would be measured, which is obvious. The further I go away, so bigger is then the surface. And when my measuring area only a tiny object covers, it won't measure. It must always be an object that is bigger than the measuring area. And that is a very helpful thing. This device as well is from PC, and it is called the PC DPT-1. It's around about 50 euros area, and it is a wonderful help for me because in my cellar, I have found corners where it could be that mold builds. Da muss ich vorsichtig sein, da könnte es zur Schimmelbildung kommen. Ein the device from which PC, with which I can go to much further distances, this year it is called the PC-888. And here I can show you on the little graphic here, I can see how it is with the opening angle, which is 16 to 1 which is a good thing. In the theory, at 16 meters, I would have a measuring area of one meter. Naturally, when I'm only one meter 60 away, I have only a 10 centimeter area. Always watch it when measuring. The measuring area, that means the area what is covered by the measuring sensors, must always be smaller as the object which I am measuring or the environment around it would be calculated with it. I have a laser pointer built in and with that I can aim a lit up the stale with a really good indicator. When I go through the modes you can see the maximum temperature, the minimum temperature I can read. As a difference of both I don't have at the moment another measurement I didn't do. That's why we don't have one. The average value, an alarm value, whereby the device alerts, I can set this to a top and bottom, and the emissions angle of what that what I want to measure. That's always different. Concrete has a different one to water and a similar. So there are a lot of different things. There's here at front as well three switches to change from Celsius to Fahrenheit. By the way, it goes from 50 degrees Celsius to plus 560 degrees Celsius. And here I can turn the alarm and all this measurement, turn on off the device for professionals in the 90 euro class. In the 300 euro class, I have found a temperature measuring device for temperature measuring and has everything. What you can imagine, as you can see, it is very stable, very strongly built, has a large sensor at the front, and also at the top, the optic for the search laser, and when I look at the device from the back and turn it on, there comes a display with a menu, and you can see what it can do. First, the infrared camera, also an infrared measurement without a camera, I can determine the dew point, it also has a data logger with which I can easily record my data, a data memory which naturally I can use over a long period, and lots of settings. We will start at one point, here at the top, the infrared camera, and when I turn it on you can see that is a real camera, how you could imagine. And when I make a measurement it shows me the temperature in the target area, there's a cross, you can see it maybe, it changes all the time, and when I put my hand in front of it, it is naturally warmer. So I can with this device record videos with shown temperature and lots of other measurements, average measurement, maximum, minimum and so forth. I can record pictures, I can save data and read these out of the device or onto my computer and value them. And also I have the possibility, by the way the measuring area is with this device from minus 50 to 1000. And when I attach this case sensor to it, it is a sensor and I can measure things with it when I go onto them up to 1350 degrees. Accessories are also there, a tripod where I can screw it to when I want to position it to monitor a special area, power cable, the battery pack is built in which I load with USB, so a device which doesn't let any wishes open, I will see what I can measure with it. Goodbye.